Hello, my fellow A kids. My name is Liz. I'm going to show you how to release the residual flea power from your system. When I was a technician and we had to call up the higher engineers, one of the first things they would ask us is, hey, did you clear all the power from the system? Because this has been known to clear a multitude of issues. But anyway, let's, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it right now. It's real simple. Let's get to it. So as you can see, the first thing I'm doing here is I am removing the label and I'm unplugging the battery. And so there has to be no power running to the system. So no battery plugged in. If you have an external battery, it'd be the same thing. You'd remove the battery. It's unplugged. And now I'm going to do the next step, which will actually drain the power. I'm putting the cover back on the laptop, flipping it over. And now I'm going to hold down the power button for one whole minute. This drains everything out of the system. Because like I said, this is this was something you would use for a multitude of issues. You, your computer doesn't start up, drain the power. You have a black screen issue, drain the power. Uh, blue screen error, drain the power. And as you can see, I plugged the battery back in, I would plug the whole thing back in, and then I would try and turn it on again. So that is as simple as you would do it. It's a trick that has been used for a very long time. There are people who take their hard earned money, bring it into a repair shop, and literally this is all they do. It's a 10 minute procedure, you know, not a big deal at all. So save your money, do it yourself. It's way easier. Uh, like I said, black screen issue, drain the power. Computer doesn't start out, drain the power. Blue screen error, drain the power. It's really that simple. But anyway, if you find this video in any way helpful, please like and share and subscribe for more great content because as you can see, I'm a little bit nerdy, but only periodically. Oof, I'm sorry. I'm gonna leave you with that one bad joke, but I only made one. I'm proud of myself. But anyway, from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.